everyone. So today I decided that I am going to do a review. And you're probably wondering what this is. Well, I ordered it like three and a half weeks ago. Well, you probably already know what it is since you clicked on the video. But it is the Invisiblender. And I think there's also another name for it. I think it's like a Scylla blender or something, like silicone blender or whatever. Um, so this is the first time I'm even opening it. Like I got it in the mail today. Oh, it's squishy. So they had pink, <coughs> blue, and clear. And I ordered this little blue one because I love blue. And <laughs> it feels so gross. Um, so I actually brought in four different things to actually test this out to see how it works. So my normal foundation, my CC cream, the Tarte Amazonian Clay foundation, concealer, and then um, the uh, contour stick, like to see how well it blends all these things. So I'm just gonna like dive right in. I don't know if I should, am I supposed to put this on the blender or on my hand? I feel like maybe I'll just put it right here on the, I'm only gonna use a little bit because I'm kind of I don't understand I don't know how to use this. Okay, so this is so weird. I feel like it's maybe not maybe not as accurate as I want it to be. I mean it's it's gliding on very nice. I'm only gonna do half of my face with this uh, foundation, and then the other half with. Okay, this is. I don't know. I don't know if I should put it on my face first because it's like the majority of it popped right off on the first try. Like the first uh, touch of my face, it just like came off onto my forehead. So I feel like I have to keep going up to my forehead to like bring this excess down. I mean, it feels like super nice on my face. Oh, pardon my lip marks, I ate spaghetti. So, okay, maybe, I mean, it definitely does not waste makeup for sure because the beauty blender just kind of absorbs a lot more. So, hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, I almost feel like I don't know how to put makeup on with this thing. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't know if I should have used less or... I don't really know. I don't know. There's... You know, it's weird because it's almost like normally when I put this, like my foundation on, there's not like a massive difference between my skin tone, but I feel like since this does not waste any product and like, can you see that? It's just like, there's a little bit left on there. So I actually brought in my makeup wipes because I'm going to like clean it off as I go. And, um, there's like a decent amount of markage, but I mean, overall the look, it looks pretty nice. Like it looks airbrushed on this side. Like it doesn't look like normally I have, normally it doesn't look this nice with the beauty blender, but it's like super hard to actually put it on. Okay. Um, now I'm going to use the Tarte Amazonian Clay. And I don't, I don't know, I guess I'll just put it on my finger and then just apply it to spots. We'll do that and see how that works. Don't know if it's going to make a difference, but we'll find out. So, I do usually have a problem with the Tarte Amazonian Clay in my Beauty Blender. Because uh, I feel like since the Tarte Amazonian Clay is like drier um it like gets absorbed 
way easier into the beauty blender. So this one was a little easier to put on. I mean mainly <laughs> probably because I didn't put it onto the blender first. But see, you know what's crazy too is it almost seems like a lighter coverage. So we can blend the two of those together. Because so I don't know if you can really tell in the camera, but this side almost looks a little darker than this side and it's funny because my Tarte foundation is darker than my CC cream. Weird, but I mean overall I still, it's still a decent, I like it. Okay, so those are the two foundations put on. Now, um, one side I'm going to do the concealer, and then the other side I'm going to do the, um, uh, the, uh, contour stick. So, we'll go ahead and do the concealer on this side, since this side is, like, a tiny bit darker. So, we'll go ahead and put that on, and see if that is any easier to blend out. Pardon my child yelling in the other room if you can hear him. Um, okay, that's not so bad. I don't know if I necessarily like it better. So, I don't know. I think maybe the key with this, like, Invisiblender is, like, less product, maybe. Like start small with less product and then just put more on I like that it can clean really easy that I do appreciate because it literally just wipes clean or I'm sure you can just run it under the sink but since I don't have a sink right next to me at the moment I'm just gonna wipe it clean it just feels so gross um I do like what it looks like although my face feels I don't know itchier than normal like normally my makeup doesn't bug me this much. I don't know if it's a side effect from that or if it's because I haven't worn makeup all day. Don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and do the contour stick. So I'm just going to take that dark enough line you can see right there, right? Mm, okay. See how well I can blend this out. I don't know. It almost doesn't do like a fantastic job. It's like getting stuck. Kind of. Maybe because it's drier. I just feel like I have to like really buff it into my face. I almost feel like I, I almost feel like I don't like the process of this thing, but I like the result of it, if that makes any sense. So, I don't know, I feel like there's still, like, you can kind of still tell that it's there. You know, I don't know. Like, there's definitely, I feel like, lineage there. And I feel like that looks like a massive, like, <laughs> um cellulite mark in my face I feel like that's what that looks like right there but it's not like there's nothing there so I don't know I just I maybe it's a no on the actual contour stick maybe that's a no but still no wasted product and it just wipes off really easy I really don't know how I feel about this I feel like I really do like the airbrush effect that it does with my foundation. I feel like that's really, really nice. 
but my foundation also looks completely different with this thing versus the actual beauty blender i just feel like my foundation is it just looks so different like so here are the two foundations and this is like the sides that i did with these and this is the lighter one which is funny because in the little tube this one looks lighter but um but it's not this one is a little darker um than this one but this one came out darker on my face than normal and this one came out way lighter on my face than it normally does so i don't know i <laughs> I feel like this is a terrible review because I seriously don't know. I feel like this is something that you have to play around with a little bit to kind of figure out what you think about it. I mean, it's, is it worth $15? Mm, nah, I don't know. I, not so much. I, I don't even like, like, so the normal beauty blender is like $38 or $40, I think. And then like the Real Techniques one is like six bucks. And then this was $15. Plus it took like three weeks to get here. From New York, New York to St. Louis. Should take like three days in the mail. If anything, five to seven business days. But three weeks, like that was absolutely awful waiting for this. Cause I really expected it way sooner. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with it a little more. I will say though, overall, I don't so much like the process. I like what it I like what it looks like on my face. I don't so much like the process of like trying to figure out how to put it on because I normally just put some foundation like right here and then like use my beauty blender to get it on my face. This on the other hand, I wasn't really even sure what to do with it because I didn't want to just smear it on my hand and then it kind of just smeared on my face. So I feel like you have to put it on your face first, then do it, then like apply more if you need more because I feel like a little bit kind of goes a long way with this because it, it's not absorbing as much makeup. So that's definitely a plus that it's not wasting your makeup. But I don't think it's worth $15 in a three week wait. So maybe if you can like find something like this at like Ulta because I, I don't I don't know if Ulta or anywhere else would have these yet I'm sure soon enough though they will because just like with the beauty blender the little knockoffs came very quickly um and you know if anything you can use it as like a stress reliever because it's really squishy and like really nice to touch really weird to put on your face but it's nice to touch it's stretchy and I don't know so honest opinion <laughs> if you want um i will link the website for this down in the description box if you guys want to check it out if you guys want to attempt to get one um but yeah let, let me know if you've used one have you tried one of these like would you want to try one of these because i'm i was kind of intrigued by it i'm still a little intrigued by it i think that i still have to test it out a little more and see like like use it in an everyday situation versus just you know filming with it and trying it out but I don't know it's definitely different it's very very different the beauty blender almost seems more comfortable like it's nicer to the touch when you're putting it on your face it feels nice it's like hydrating you know because you have them wet obviously this is not wet this is just I don't know if I you just put it on so I don't know and I have you know what in like the past like five minutes it's gathered a lot of dust and hair which is really weird so maybe they're not the most sanitary I mean unless you use it and you wash it like right away and then go right to your face and like don't mess around with it those are some things to think about so yeah that's all I got <laughs> I'll see you guys Thursday bye